So this is a video showing what I think is one of the fastest ways to uh, generate a cam profile for a small model internal combustion engine. I'm using a, uh, a boring head in my uh, milling machine here, which can swing around like this. Uh, you might note that I've got the cutter cutting on the inside stroke uh, so that it'll cut the outside of this uh, cam profile. And as I swing it around here, you'll see that it's offset. It's actually uh, that's about an inch and a quarter diameter swing I've got on here. Uh, here, obviously, it's not going to be cutting anything. It's only going to be cutting as it sweeps past the cam on this side. The idea of this is that it will make a slightly rounded or curved profile on the uh, on the uh, rise and the fall of the cam profile. I will have to run the milling machine backwards and I need to start at the outside radius and then I'll crank the handle in to get the first, uh, to get the depth of cut I want. And then I'll rotate the handle of my uh, dividing head, or I'm sorry, my rotary table, one turn and uh, then make a down cut, another turn, make a downward cut, and another turn, make a downward cut, and I'll work my way most of the way around and what I'll wind up with is uh, just a single point on the one side where the uh, cam lobe will be. So I'll go ahead and get this thing started. Hopefully I've got that secured on there well enough that it's not going to come loose. Uh, it is an interrupted cut and that cutter has a tendency to try to unscrew that screw every time it cuts. That's why I've also got a set screw in there to help uh, help stabilize it and, and I've had that come loose for me on before. I've got it about as tight as I can get it so let's Let's give this thing a try and see what happens. So, here we go. Crank it in ten thousandths. Try it again. Go very slow. Going in another ten thousandths. Actually, I'm going 20 thousandths, I guess, on each pass. I'm going to go 10 thousandths so I don't knock that loose. You can see it's slowly cutting that side away there in a curved profile. Okay, so now I've got the depth of cut where I want it. I'm going to start cranking the handle on my rotary table one turn and then making a pass. And I think you'll be able to see what it's doing as I uh, do it. So there's one turn. Another.
Coming into the home stretch here, I probably got five or six more passes. don't want this point too sharp so I have to know where to stop it and I think I can squeeze one more pass in there yeah that's about right so there I have the cam profile completely cut take it out of there so you can see it And uh, hopefully there, you can see the um, you can see the uh, profile. And that's just about perfect. Now all I have to do is go over with a little bit of sandpaper or file to kind of smooth it up, and uh, it'll be done. Thanks for watching.